Hello and welcome to FS22, the start from scratch series on U Belaron. Last time out, we brought our first bit of land. Unfortunately, it had potatoes in it. So we've cultivated that in, turned it over. I'm now returning the uh, stone picker that we leased. So we get the stones out. And our next job is going to be purchase ourselves a cedar and uh, get something in the ground so we shall return that I don't think we need to pay for any of those uh, touch-ups don't know why I didn't back into the parking spot probably sort of busy chatting but yeah so if you haven't watched my first episode you know after this one go back and watch it or go watch it and come back to this but we managed to pick up a 7715 Massey Ferguson for 82 grand it was uh, on sale in the used equipment uh, spent three grand fixing up on the repair section we managed to grab the power to plus with the extension for 14,000 I think we had 44% off on this one. I think this one was like 42, 43% off. Both of these second hand. This hasn't been repaired yet, but the Massey has. And we bought the Amazon uh, cultivator. So now we need to get ourselves a cedar. So we are in the store menu and we wanna have a little look. They've they've moved it around a little bit. I wanted to scroll across, but everything is it's up and down now rather than left to right. So we're going to go cedar. Now we've got 175 horses, I believe, under the hood. Now the uh, Vedestad Spirit R 300S was a day one giant mod in the mod hub. Uh, just shortly after the game released, I think probably about six seven hours later this turned this turned up with a few other mods that were released by giants it's just sort of equipment that wasn't put in the base game as it was released i go over that in episode one i'm not going to do it every time but yeah they're here so i think i think we might take this it's got a three meter working width but it has a rather large um Hopper. I think it just seeds. I don't think. So this would have cultivated for us anyway, but we've already done the cultivate. But in future, that could be quite handy. I'm not quite sure how that would work with stones. Oh, she needs to turn it over and get the stones out. There's something all to be played with, isn't it? This is probably just a shallow shallow cultivation with this yeah this is just a cedar holds quite a few liters in it what was the other options in our pro in our power range not necessarily our price range but our power range it is the amazon plus three meters three meters i think we go with the uh vedish dad Definitely. Sorry, a little bit indecisive. And we're going to buy it. Uh, we're doing leasing in this series as well, but we're going to buy this. So we're going to be reusing over and over again until we're bigger and can uh, do a bit more. And it's a good price as well. Forty-eight grand. Not bad. Okay. So with that, we are also going to want some seeds. Now. Let's have a look price-wise. Solid fertilizer. So we're going to need a sprayer or a spreader afterwards as well. This was 1,000 litres for 800. Do they come any bigger than that? As they, I think you buy them in, in bulk. And um, if we go back, what do we get in a big pallet? That's more. 
but will I need a front loader attach attachment to uh, load this in just in case I'm going to buy it anyway uh, we've got a quickie I think we want the biggest one don't we yeah I think the uh, I think that'll fit over us you can but try I think we might go with uh, Massey Red yep we'll go with that And then in front loader tools, we either want like a bag lifter for the quickie, single or dual. Ooh. But can you pick it with a pallet fork? All these things need to be tested and tried, don't they? We'll see how this works. Let's give this a go. Okay. I'm going to buy the quickie bag lifter. And we shall purchase the seeds. Let's pick that. And we want two. Yeah, we want two. Right, so we've got some fiddling to do now. So I'm going to bring the seed around to the front. <laughs> I'll probably mess this up a lot. That opens up. Very nice. Now, next will be to put the weight on the back. It's going to get very technical. Down to 168 grand. Uh, we started on uh, start from scratch, uh, not on farm manager, so we only had uh, 500,000 to start with. Let's say uh, brought a few things. When it comes to harvest time, depending on what jobs we've managed to pick up throughout the year, we'll determine on whether we purchase a harvest or a lease one. They are quite expensive. And I think for a small farm it would make sense to uh, lease rather than purchase. Right. Do you think I can do this from inside? Ooh, that don't look too bad actually. Oh, we missed one. That's annoying. Right. Got both. They're sort of there, aren't they? Just want to see if those arms close at all, but not that I can see. Let's bring the uh, controls up. I have to do it. Come on. On the. Okay, so we can turn and move. That doesn't do anything, and that doesn't do anything. Because what I wanted to see is if the uh, little side bits gripped or not. Now, I've not quite got them hooked on as they should, but they are on. Oh, there's some deer. Look at them. They're a little bit familiar, aren't they? He's running the wrong way. But yeah, they are rather familiar. So let's try and fill our cedar. Oh, look at that. That is very cool. We like the realism, we like the big bags. Now both of those should go in there pretty easy. Excellent. I think for now, I'm going to leave the uh, the forks here at the garage, at the garage, at the merchants. So let's drop them. forks and then we'll attach the cedar so cedar attached and we've got 2,000 litres of seeds in there 7 percent full let's head this back to our farm we are on the plot that 
would be where you'd start with New Farmer. Obviously, but we came with start with scratch, so we didn't actually own any of that that plot to begin with. But it just seemed like a good place to start. It has the uh, the nice flat-ish area for placeables, and uh, it came with a field 38. Now I would have preferred a a grain crop, but we had potatoes. Um, would have been nice to get stuck straight into uh, productions by. Uh, having some wheat or some barley or some oats or something but alas it's not our luck oh that was already opened up look okay but I would like to get like I said I'd like to get into the production side of things so although it's not always the most profitable to set profitable to sell we're going to be using it so we're going to be planting flour uh, flour we're not going to be planting flour we're going to be planting wheat to make flour that can't be planted until oh, we're in August. What are you doing to me, bruv? Ah, oh, late August. Canola. We can put canola in today. Hmm. Bear with me. Okay, so I've had a little deliberation with myself. Had a little think about it. I don't want to rush time along. And the only thing we can plant at the minute is canola. I, I don't want to do canola. I want wheat or barley in there. So, we're heading back to the store. Not to buy something. But, I think we're going to take on a contract. There are jobs about. There's always jobs about. And we can earn ourselves a little bit of money. So, let's have a look and see. Got stuck on me on way. <laughs> let's have a look and see at what is available to us contract-wise. Uh, contracts, contracts, contracts. That's that one. We have got fertilizing jobs. Now, obviously, there's an outlay for the purchase of the fertilizer for them ones. Field 19. That is big payment. Uh, we've got some plowing. Now, 43. Uh, I think that's a good sized field plowing and um, we just did cultivating and um, rock picking so a plowing isn't you know so just different from what we've already been doing in the last episode whereas we could we could go do some fertilizer this this one's going to pay quite well so I think we're going to do this one and we will borrow the items and we're going to go and fertilize field 19 for the fertiliser contract on Field 19, we have been given the McCormick X7 620, a brand that's new to uh, FS22. Uh, there were mods for McCormick in uh, 19 on PC, but not on console. And we've got the Amazon ZG TS it's at 10,001. So I'm guessing. It's got a little bit of fertilizer in it. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot more than that, though, wouldn't we? Let's be honest. Now it's a good job we brought the uh, Massey over. I have purchased a uh, pallet fork uh, attachment for the front loader section, so that we can get these in, just like so. Now, it's probably going to take quite a few of these. I've brought four. Um, it's a big field, field 19. Wallace, on the next one, we'll have a look at the field. But it is a big field um, north northeast of the map. I don't think it's the biggest field, but it's uh, definitely got to be up there, I think. I don't want to jinx it like I normally do, but there seems to be a little bit more stability to that than there was in 19. So anyway, field 19, flashing up the top here, and we're obviously down here at the store filling up. So we'll, uh, we'll take a scenic back route probably, and head up. We've got the grain elevator there, lime station, 
Oh, while we're here, we can see where's the... Uh, there you go, debris crush. You put the stones down there by the animals, so that's that's not far. And this is the grain mill. I want to buy the grain mill. I want to do grains. I want to do flour. Anyway, I'll get this filled up, and uh, we'll head over. I brought another four big bags, big pallet bags to uh, put in as well. So that was. Number seven. This will be number eight. So we'll have 8,000 litres of fertiliser in the back there. I think it holds 10. I think that's why it's got the 10,001 as its number. So it's pretty full. Um, I don't think it would have given us a machine that wasn't big enough. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping 8,000 litres is going to be enough. I mean, we get reimbursed either way. I'm just hoping we don't have to do a trek back to uh, to get some more, or even uh, a trek up there. So we'll cover that up, and we shall make our way. Which way did we say it was? Left and round. Yeah, we can go uh, down the dirt track. Let's have a look inside the uh, McCormick. So it's nice to see a new brand. From the machines I've been in so far, I don't feel, it doesn't feel like any of them have sort of not got the love and attention that other brands do. Like in, I think in 19 I said, you know, the Stara. I never used Stara because it it just never looked nice. It, it never looked like it had been uh, updated for the new game. So uh, hopefully we don't come across any like that. Although I've noticed we haven't got Stara this time round unless they're going to come in as a later expansion, maybe a South American expansion like we've had before. Introduce Stara back to the game. Speculation, speculation. Uh, is there anything else that you guys have noticed that's maybe missing from past iterations, like com a complete brand wipe that we've not got anymore? Um, the Stoll um, front loader, uh, that's not there, we've got uh, Quickie, Quicken, or however it's pronounced, it says Quickie, I'm calling it Quickie. So they're there. Now I felt sure though I can't see a, a, a gear lever. I felt sure we've gone, I went for manual sets, but we've not had a, a manual gear yet. Everything's been automatic. Right. So bring up our map, just down there. So we want the uh, next right. So I don't know the map, I haven't done a map tour myself. I thought about doing map tours. I think once uh, mod maps arrive, I, uh, I will try and get out map tours. I do them in my own little monotone way. Um, but I figured for the the first three maps, Ellen Grat we've uh, we've had before, and you know I'm, I'm five days at least five days late to the party from the uh, the early access guys and uh, easy one or two days late on everyone else that's been playing because I've been busy doing other things away from gaming. And uh, yeah, so I thought rather than put time into doing them to start with, I'll have a little play and we'll get a series going, uh, you know, do things my way as I like. So this is our field. Not our field, but this is our contract field. And we've got fertilizer on it, so is it all open? It is. It is for contracts only, we know. This is, our, oh man, look at that spread. We'll pan right out. We are wasting so much. Now the difficult thing is going to be seeing where we've been, especially with that spread like that. So, uh, not to destroy these crops, am I? No. So yeah, we've got this. This is probably going to take a little while. This isn't a bad thing. Like I said, we can't we can't do our own uh, our own sewing at the minute, which is a shame. 
but I don't want to be planting stuff that I don't want. I want to plant what we're going to use rather than just plant. I mean, we could plant canola in our field, wait a year and harvest it, but then we won't be uh, progressing in the uh, production chains that I want to progress in. So uh, we can wait a day or two, do some contracts, earn up some money. We've spent, spent a big chunk of our money. Um, so yeah, we need to uh, need to be careful, make sure we're earning. Cannot see where we've been, so we're just going to go a lot further over than that, that's for certain. Hopefully once um, Precision Farming comes along, we will be able to see where we've been, uh, get the uh, updated map down in the bottom left. Always makes fertilising in uh, growing crops a lot easier on 19 than uh, keep trying to spin the, the camera around to see where you've been. Some crops it was always easier than others. I'm sure there is a colour change down there on the texture. Somewhere. Just going to weave in a bit closer. Now again we could have just set a worker to do it for us and sat back and relaxed but Need to learn these wits, need to get these judgments. Now, my friend FS Landscaping would have uh, stuck some tram lines in there for us to see. Man loves a tram line. I've yet, in all the time of playing FS, uh, worried about tram lines, but if, if it comes in, um, like I said before, I'm trying to do this series as realistic. Well, I want to try and do all my series, my Let's Play series at least, as realistic as possible. Um, so if that's something that comes in and is introduced, I'll try and learn how to do it, how to use it. Uh, I have said I might try and do a couple of time-lapse series because there's uh, going to be a lot of maps and a lot of things I'd like to show and do and uh, doing the, uh, the Let's Play series with the commentaries, uh, you know, it takes up a lot more time than maybe to uh, record and do a time lapse. It's it, I've, I've done a few uh, time lapse episodes now on leftover from FS19, and they were quite fun to do. You could get a couple of them done at a time, and it was it was good. It was good to be playing the game um, and being able to get it on the channel while I was having trouble with audio. I haven't yet listened back to uh, the first episodes now. <laughs> to know if the audio is still terrible or not. I spent a long time fiddling with it, trying to get it better. Um, hopefully that's paid off a little bit for me. Once once I've finished and everything's sorted out in the, the room that's going to be the studio, um, it should sound so much better. But at the minute it's a little bit barren. But, uh, yeah, we're waiting for Florin. Florin that we were expecting to be here a fortnight ago. Easily a fortnight ago. Um, we've been told it's going to turn up on the 29th. Today is the 22nd. And we were hoping for it to be here around about the 10th. So, uh, yeah, that's slowed us down a bit. For those that don't know, I've just moved house. And we are in the process of sorting all that out. That was one of the reasons why I was late on getting uh, content on the channel. Just been busy decorating, renovating, trying to run uh, networking cable around the house, trying to get things smoother. The property wasn't in the best condition when we got it when we moved in, but that's what makes things affordable. <laughs> Didn't like growing on that YouTube money over here. <laughs> Not yet. Just have a little, uh, a little closer look at what we're doing here. So I think we're, we're running pretty good. 
I mean, we'll be able to look in the map um, once we're done. We'll be able to find the spots that aren't quite fertilised. I think there was already one layer of fertiliser on there. I think uh, we require two fertilisation stages for the minute. Um, as um, precision farming comes into it when that arrives, obviously these things will change. And I'll probably do more of a, an in-depth look into how precision farming works more than how base game works because I shall probably be running more um, precision farming series than I, I would straight base game. One thing I am really pleased about that Giants have done since their first initial announcement with uh, integrating seasons and season cycles into FS22 is that they did lock it in at three day seasons. As I tried that on um, Stone Valley in a, in a series called uh, the FS22 Experiment running three day seasons on Stone Valley and that was tough. I felt like one point I'm just completely rushed not enough time to do anything and then I had days where there was nothing to do nothing to do at all and then when uh, when winter came it was yeah just no no jobs just fertilizing for days and days okay so I'm um, I like to make sure the job is done as close to 100% as I can so if we go over We'll take off needs plowing. Look at that. that isn't bad. Considering we couldn't see what we I couldn't see where we were going. We've just got little patches. I'm happy with that. So we've got this little strip down here. I'm happy with that. He's saying job well done. I'll take that. I'll take job well done. Uh for our route back, we'll head back the other way. We came out on that route we can head back into town this way if I make the map a little bit larger you can see we came out of the store we went up around sort of the hill that that hill behind us um, whereas now we can uh, come in we can go down and we can if we come out of here and then turn left we can take that into town uh, I think that route will take us up to the old um, it's not a castle, is it? Like a chateau? I guess that's what that's called. It's supposed to be France. I will leave my map on because I need to make sure I'm going uh, in the right way. I hate getting lost. Yeah, so it's that left there would take us up to the chateau. It's very nice. It's a nice map. Uh, it definitely definitely feels more natural I think with some of maybe the buildings and the building placement it's, it's done for convenience it looks you know good enough for this type of game I'm not going to knock it for that now where's the store is that over there yeah don't know the map yet but yeah I am looking forward to uh getting stuck into some of the mod maps there's some that I'm quite excited to get to already um, I don't expect to see too much in the way of mod maps not not really good mod maps anyway um, much before Christmas I can be patient but we definitely um, had excess fertilizer but we shall get recouped for that. Yeah, McCormick X7 to, uh, 620 and the Amazon ZG TS 10001. That was good. It's nice to use something different. Like I say, something that I've uh, never, never used before. Brand new to me, those ones. So let's just complete the contract back on the contract screen we are and as you can see field 19 it was literally a 13 grand nearly 14,000 pound layout uh, deducted 2,460 for the equipment and for the leftover fertilizer 
will get reimbursed nine and a half thousand pounds. So that's twenty or oh, euros. So it's twenty thousand, nearly twenty one thousand coming back our way. So we can collect that. So let's have a look at what else we've got. We've got let's say we've got plowing on field forty five. Let's go have a look at field 45 is all the way down here. Width wise, I'd say that's a little bit wide. That's probably as wide as mine is long, isn't it? I think that's going to be a long plowing job. It's a shame there's no others to do. We could do, I mean, more fertilizing. Oh, there's a cultivating job just come up. Now that, I think we can take that one. Field 20. That must be back up here somewhere. So sort of where we've just been. A field 20, cultivating job. We won't use ours, we will use theirs. We'll borrow that again. Uh, that'll probably bring us down to about 1100. And there they are. We have a beautiful Series 8 Deutz, at 8280 TTV. Oh, I do like a Deutz far. And we have the Rolander. The, uh, the red brand, as I like to call them. Sometimes when you pronounce uh, that brand name, it gets flagged up on YouTube, which is fair enough. Right, so we shall hit out again up to field 20. And we're going to be going back pretty much the route we just came. We're going to do that same loop. Um, let's just take it in a little bit with this. I want to have a look inside my doids. Oh, look at all that. Oh, nearly gotcha. They're like little monk jack everywhere, aren't they? Need to bring the rifle over from uh, Hall of the Wild. Have one of them for dinner. But yeah, it looks like we've got some. The dials don't change, unfortunately. I thought they were, it's just flickering. Let's go out to the right. Yeah, this is very nice. Hey, easy, Dave. Very nice inside. what that is there but it's part of the production chain it's like pizza and honey right there I'm confused I'm confused by the logo hop for a bush oh it's just pizza it's pizza on a pizza slice okay I think that's just an advert I don't think this has anything to do with pizzas I might be wrong. It looks like. Okay, it's the corporation group from Ut Belleron. So this is just a sell point. That's not part of uh, part of productions. And we have a lime refill point up here as well. Right, let's get back in the tractor. And a faffing about. This is the field we've got. This is our job here. Just check before I start digging it up. Yep. This is us. Let's go back, we'll unfold. Bit of big machinery. Don't get to see much large machinery on a uh, Mr. Farquhar series because we're gem I'm generally into the smaller stuff. But that was very nice. Nice animation, good sounds there. Hopefully the sounds are being picked up okay. 
uh, because, like I said, because of the sound and audio issues I've been having, I have had to turn a lot of the volumes down just so it can pick me up without the horrible, horrible tinny echo. There probably is still a bit of an echo, but can't be as bad as it was. Now let's see if this brings up stones for them. Because we're just um, cultivating the old stalks on at the minute, by the looks of it. So this is this isn't um, turning over like our uh, cultivated. Maybe because it's a different crop, it gives a different texture afterwards, which is a nice variation. It's good. It's nice to see that things aren't as as uniform maybe as everything was before. If different crops give us different looks before and after, that's that's brilliant. Just get rid of that. So these are going to be uh, massive when it comes to uh, money in the bank, but a, a grand's a grand, it'll go towards uh, some seeds or fertiliser for us, no doubt. Uh, we've already got seeds in the cedar, so uh, once we've done that and we're uh, on fertiliser and herbicide and, and such, we'll, uh, we'll find out if that, if that worked. If you've uh, seen any of my series already, you'll know that I do like to uh, do a preemptive spray for herbicide, uh, try and uh, prevent the weeds rather than wait for them to sprout up and kill them. So we'll see if preemptive spray works. I know on 19 people often doubted whether it worked or not, and I never had no trouble with it. If I preemptive sprayed, I didn't get weeds. The only times that you would get weeds is if your crop had maybe grown too much already and you couldn't see that you'd got like um, young weed rather than uh, mature weed. No, it's, uh, it's all exciting to see. I don't really sound exciting. I don't miss that when I talk back, but it's because I try, try and keep it nice and mellow the channel, try not to be too excited, and I do do a lot of my recording late at night, so you know, you have to keep a level head, can't, can't be loud and shouting about, I have uh, young children and a partner who's up very early in the morning for work. But yeah, I'm going to uh, mosh on through this, we'll get this contract done. Uh, we'll try and get some nice, uh, nice angles and captures along the way. Show off the Deutz, uh Show off the what's it called? Prolander. And I'll, uh, I'll join you again near the end of the contract. say we've got about four more passes to go to finish this. It'll probably pop up and say that it's uh, done before then. But with this sort of job, as with the last, I'd like to try and uh, get it as complete as possible. I don't like to leave a, a massive chunk undone. We're not trying to speed through it. We're not in a rush to do our next job. So hopefully it won't be too much longer. Um, I did notice that uh, while I was uh, doing the up and down jobby, fiddling about with a few things, mainly my mini map, uh, it does tell us what's at each location. Uh, we get the blue blip, but uh, in the past you also, you know, told you what was there. Gonna have to remember the map a lot more, I think, which is. Uh, <laughs> doesn't bode well for people like me who generally has a pretty appalling memory on things like that. They get lost easily within games. Disorientated in, uh, in 
in real life I do. Uh, I'm pretty good. Orientate myself, uh, find myself about, but yeah, I think because a lot of it can look the same. I think, especially on the Giants map, a lot of it can look the same. Remember where everything is, may get confuddled. And I do get confuddled. We're we getting through this job. So this is a uh, this will be a well earned grand, that's for certain. That bag of seed or fertilizer that this then pays for has been well earned. Full show. The Deutz, as always, has been absolutely beautiful. I just think they look like such awesome machinery. I've been told, and I get told frequently, that they're not reliable and, you know, bits break and stuff like that. This game, I don't, don't really worry about that too much. In real life, maybe I wouldn't fall in love with a Deutz far quite so quick. But I just think they look mean. They are very modern looking tractor especially when you get them in uh, warrior when you get them in black look awesome but I quite like the Deutsche Far green I like that it's a little bit rude boy you know that's what you'd expect to see uh, an old Ford Escort RS turbo type thing to be a <laughs> boy racer colour it'd be that or orange yeah, there's something about it. I do like a Deutz. Oh, that's a shame. Look, just not quite. I reckon if I'd have had that a little bit, a little bit more accurate further along in the field, that would have joined up. So we're saying the contract's finished. We will go down and we will fill that gap in. I, I can't leave this, uh, this chap with a, <laughs> with a strip in this field. My conscience won't allow it. How can we take payment on something that's not finished? It's uh, it's not OCD, it's a conscience. This is not right. It takes, it takes but a few minutes. I mean, we've already done the rest, might as well finish that bit off. Job properly. But everyone who's uh, managed to get their hands on a copy, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, drop down in your comments, you know, what you're liking about 22. If there's anything you're disliking about 22, let's discuss it. Let's uh, let's air all our laundries. But from the, the little time that I've had, I'm enjoying it. I've not found, on PC anyway, I've not found any issues. I'm sure there are some out there, someone will tell you there are bugs. I'm sure there are, no one's perfect. But I've not had any issues with the game. Um, on console, I've had a few little bits where um, the HUD, certain elements of the HUD have disappeared. Um, sure if there's anyone else has sort of suffered that but I've had the the money that's not showing up there in the top right hand corner I had the weather disappear for a little bit uh, earlier today as well there's just little things nothing major not that I can find I don't go out looking for them though I'm not one of them people that buy a game and then look for all the broken bits I, uh, I buy a game and just really really hope that it's not broken when I buy it <laughs> Uh, fed up of buying and paying full price for broken games. I think the only, the, my only issue at the minute is that it feels like the store is a bit empty. But we've just jumped over from having more mods than ever on 19 to then be playing with, you know, bare bones again. I guess it's always going to feel empty. I just feel like there's some essentials that aren't there, sort of brand-wise and machinery-wise. And I'm sure Giants will be adding them in as quote-unquote mods. I've already expressed my feelings on that. 
Right, let's park this up. Turn it off. Oh, let's turn his lights off for him. Yeah, that was nice. Enjoyed that. Nice little jarby. So let's get paid. So it started off 1,704, deducted 671, so 1,032. So we shall collect that. And that makes that the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. And like I say, feedback is welcome down in the comments. Your experiences so far on FS22. Um, also let me know if you'd like to see me continue to make uh, FS19 content. I want to continue my um, No Man's Land Survival Challenge. If you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know down there and uh, I'll get that booted up and uh, make some content. But for now, I've got to come find myself somewhere to sleep because I don't have a home. And uh, I'll see you guys again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.